I'm going to be going over six tips that I wish I knew when I first started trading with funded accounts, because if I knew these things, I would have number one, not blown up as many accounts as I did. And I would have passed my evaluations a lot sooner. And I got a little bonus tip for you guys at the end to pass evals a little bit faster. All right, getting straight into it, how to pass an eval. Number one is over thinking don't overthink your trades the more you stray away from your strategy the more you're going to gamble and the more you're going to keep losing if you have a set strategy stick to it don't stray away don't get shiny object syndrome when you go on youtube and you see someone's talking about a new strategy or your friend mentions a new strategy or you're on tiktok and you see a new strategy out there don't switch to it just because someone said it's good and someone else is making money from it stick to what you're doing stick to what you know for a long period of time and don't stray away from it because the second you stray away, you're starting all over again. And don't overthink it once you get funded either. Once you have that PA account, don't overthink your trades. Don't hyper analyze your trades. Stick to the basic rules you have written down and just trade. If it doesn't work after like three months, then maybe you should add a rule, get rid of a rule or just scrap the strategy and start all over to begin with. Trailing threshold doesn't matter. And I know this is a sensitive topic for a lot of people because a lot of you get overwhelmed or you think, oh my God, I can't work in a $2,000 threshold when I want to make $3,000 profit. Bro, that's fine. Even if it's a trailing threshold, if you have a secure amount of profits you're making every trade and a certain amount of stop loss you're willing to risk per trade, you shouldn't worry about trailing threshold unless you're, you know, entering a position and holding it for God knows how long and not taking profit. And if you're the type of trader to trade with multiple take profits, try sticking to one to three take profits. Don't go for the eight take profit because I'm not going to get into it this video, but chart RR is very different than PNL RR. And you really need to understand the difference between you want to do like chart RR, like 10 to one trades, but realistically PNL wise, your RR is like a two to one max to manage your trade better with a trailing threshold. What you could do is move your stop loss to your break even point once it goes to tp1 or tp2 so you're lowering the chance for that trailing threshold to really hurt you also you might even be more profitable by doing this next thing is you want to do is size properly you don't want to over leverage your position and they'll end up in you like blowing up your account also don't think you could buy seven accounts 10 accounts at once and pass all of them with these you're not you're gonna blow them up because you don't know how to risk manage properly yet and you don't know how to handle that threshold buy one account get used to it and slowly work your way up on accounts Next tip is controlling your emotions. The biggest rule of trading is understanding your emotions, being able to harness it and not let them explode mid-trade. Don't gamble after your losses. Don't stray away from your strategy. Just because you took a loss doesn't mean the next trade is also going to be a loss. It's a game of probabilities. You got to weigh your options, stick to your strategy, and be confident. Let's say you became overconfident and you're over trading, right? Let's say one week you did very, very well. You got green trades every single day. The second week, it is a different week of trading. You're not going to do the same. So let's say Monday starts off, you're red. All of last week, you were green. You got overconfident. Now it's one red trade. You're going to let get to you. You're going to get emotional about it. And you're going to start over trading to get your money back. But that's not what you want to do. You want to continually stick to your strategy. Stop trading for the day. Move on to the next day. There's money to be made and lost every day. Even if you're on a losing streak, don't get discouraged. Don't switch up your strategy. Maybe there's a couple things you need to tweak. Maybe it's your mood. Maybe it's your emotions. Just learn to come into the market with a clear mind. Don't let anything from your personal life come into your trades because if you do, you're going to be losing a lot. All right. The next section is psychology, which is also another big topic in trading. And these are the two topics I'm going to be covering. So just because it's an eval doesn't mean you should gamble. You shouldn't treat the eval as a paper account. You shouldn't treat it as a fake account or a simulated account. You should treat it as real money and take it slow because this eval has the potential to becoming your actual funded account. You're going to be withdrawing a lot of money on in the future. So again, I've said this in a lot of sections so far. Take it slow. Don't get overconfident and trade slowly. Don't think you're invincible. Don't take 100 trades a day. Stick to max one to two trades a day call it a day if you're red if you hit your daily drawdown walk away the next tip is don't buy 10 accounts bro trading 10 accounts at once is so much harder on your mental than it is trading one account because now you're worried about a million dollars in trading capital instead of just 100k and spending all that money on buying those evals and spending all that money going through those pas funding them it'll take a toll on you so stick to one account at a time it's way easier on the mental a lot of people on my discord told me that this is the reason why it took them so long to become profitable but it's because they started copy trading way too soon, way too early in their trading career. Once they stuck to one account at a time, that's when they started getting consistent results and payouts. 
if you do want to do multiple i only recommend doing multiple if you're trading different strategies at once one of the biggest things in trading is risk management and how to actually control your risk per trade what i like to do is size my contracts according to how many losses i could take so let's say your drawdown is 2.5k now with this drawdown you can you can limit yourself to either taking five trades in your account blows up so that means risking 500 per trade for five trades what i like to do is go for the 250 route so risking 250 per trade for 10 trades in a row now the possibility of you losing 10 times in a row is very unlikely that's why i go this route with the 10 trades risking 250 per trade and risking 250 per trade is perfectly fine because you can make 300 per trade you can make 400 per trade if your rr is two to one rr you can make 500 per trade while only risking 250 dollars even if you're doing a one to one rr you only need 12 trades to pass the account and you only need 10 to lose it and what's more likely you breaking even or you going 10 trades in a row negative it's going 10 trades in a row negative that's that, that's the less likely thing that's gonna happen understanding risk management is very important and going off of this system of how many losses can i take in a row before my account blows up is way better than doing it based off of a percentage okay this isn't forex this is futures you want to go off of your drawdown and your stop loss not based off of percentage of account okay because a 50k account your your risk is like 2.8k it's not 50k it's very different the last tip is contract size. Understand how to properly organize your contract size to the amount of drawdown you want to take per trade and the amount of risk you want to put on your total drawdown on your account. Now, let's say your account has 2.5K drawdown left, okay? 2.5K. So let's say you want to do the rule I told you earlier where you want to risk 250 per trade. Now, to risk 250 per trade, all that matters is how much is your stop loss. So, let's say you enter the trade right here. Your stop loss is negative 250 bucks, okay? And your take profit is $500. Let's say you enter this trade at the price of $1,000 on ES, for example, okay? Now, to understand how to use your contract size, it's very simple. On ES, every single tick gives you $12.50. That means for every one point, you're making 50 bucks with one contract. So this is very easy to remember. One point, 50 bucks. Two points, 100 bucks. So, so let's say this right here is 2.5 points. Okay, 2.5 points. To risk 250, you have to risk how many contracts? Two contracts. Two contracts on ES to risk $250 when your risk is 2.5 points. Now, let's say your risk is five points, okay? Let's say... Your risk is five points and you only want to risk 250. What do you do? Again, do the math. For every one point, it's 50 bucks with one contract. So that means one contract is how much we're going to enter this trade with. All you got to remember is one point equals $50 on ES. That's pretty much it. One point up, you're out 50 bucks. One point down, you're down 50 bucks. Now, this bonus tip is something that I only recommend if you're actually experienced in trading and not, you know, if you're brand new to trading and is to enter double what you would regularly. Now, I remember earlier when I said you want to risk 10 trades before you blow up your account. Yeah. Instead, we're going to risk double that. Now, let's say you want to play a risky, right? Let's say your drawdown is 2.5K, okay? The good middle ground is five trades, 500 bucks, okay? Good middle ground. Risky, but all right. Now, what I told you guys earlier is all the way over here. 10 trades risking 250 per trade, right? So you could risk seven trades and you're down 360 per trade. That's completely fine. You want to trade like this on your PA, 100%, because your PA is a lot more useful than your eval. Eval, you want to get that passed and move on. But again, if you're brand new to trading, pass the eval legitly i'm talking about profitable traders like me and a lot of people on my discord where they just want to pass the eval and just get their money you guys could do this okay you could risk like this so four trades you risk blowing up your account five trades you risk blowing up your account you could risk it in three trades so with a 2.5k drawdown you could risk 830 per trade you blow it up in three trades but hey you're funded now in like what a day or two instead of you know trading for 10 days or seven days to pass the account now this is a very risky thing you want to do but again don't recommend it for the average day trader or the beginner all right and lastly i want to tell you bro you got this trading is a very difficult thing to master it is not easy it's not going to come overnight and you want to stay consistent with it. consistency is the key at the end of the day and if you don't have consistency you have nothing you're going to go through years without seeing any success and that's honestly the most like challenging thing when it comes to trading 
going years and years and years without seeing any progress. The only thing you're seeing is just failure after failure after failure. The only thing you're really seeing a success in is maybe your psychology and being able to risk manage way better. Besides that, it's going to take a year or two years, but whatever it takes, you got this. And remember to kiss the market. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss that boy every single day. And if you want the highest possible discount at any time with my funded futures or Apex Trader funding, use code Daryl at checkout and I'll see you guys on the next video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments and what you guys need help with in the future. Your boys out. Have a good one. Peace.